Hello and welcome to the Lilliputian Medical Science uh, Bay. Uh, we're very proud. We've, we've spent a considerable amount of money uh, making this happen. And uh, today's the day where we're gonna we're gonna actually have a look at some of the kind of stuff that you can that the public can now witness. Um, so we're gonna actually put all this stuff. We've done all our research. We've uh, we've you know it's taken us years and years to do it, but we're very finally proud to present our findings to the general public and to fellow scholars and uh, and researchers and of course our medical students as well so here we are we're in that it's it's quite vast it's quite vast we've no expense has been spared but here it is and uh, here's the body well it's the torso really we've we're still we've only been able to do half to be honest um, but here it is let me fly up um, I'll you put my jetpack on my Lilliputian jetpack and fly above it the ends obviously encased in glass we put some glass in there and um, yeah so here it is we've we've had to slice the body up into into sections obviously to give it a detailed a detailed look at what what's going on on the inside um, and of course here we go so ladies and gentlemen I'll be releasing this map uh, it's going to be a survival map very shortly. It's going to be, it's basically a, a giant medical, <laughs> medical scanned human being, um, made in Minecraft, as a survival map, uh, and you've got to kind of, it's in a giant, sort of sterile jar area. This shot, this bit should, have, should have, uh, there we go. Should have. Um, Things aren't rendering. There we go. Things are starting to render in. Beautiful. So as you can see, it's the torso of a human being, and basically this torso was is part of uh, a series of medical scans that I've taken, and we've uh, put them together uh, in their separate parts. So you can actually go within each section. Let's show you how how this works, and see the cross section. Of each section, and some bits are empty, some bits are not. Uh, but this is basically medical imagery, uh, re reworked into a Minecraft map, and it's fairly impressive. There's the lower part of the back, and the elbows. Let's go through the arm up here. And um, these holes aren't really holes, they there they go. There they go. Uh so yeah, so I'm gonna be releasing this later on this week. And if anybody wants wants to kind of play as a survival map, I think that's kind of how I'm gonna make it work. It'll be a survival map, uh, where you know basically there are pretty much pretty much every block available in the map is here. And uh, you'll be able to live, survive, and mine your way through it. I might put it on adventure mode, just to make it a bit more challenging. So you'll have to find find pieces, bits and pieces. And I'll put some ladders up at the bottom. I haven't quite finished it yet, but I, was, I got too excited to not show it off, really. It is a beautiful piece of artwork for me, and I've got the whole body um, for for schools and other people who would like to use this for kind of, you know, literally for a bit of medical science. Let me just snip away some of these bits and pieces. There's a cow there, so obviously there's there's some spawning food that's arriving as well. Um, let's take these bits away. So this is me trimming away just the last remnants of the edges. A lot of it was hand done. A lot of it was done with um, with a few different uh, a few different programs. And I've got some big thanks to uh, Adrian Brightmore who helped me with. Uh, with a really, I'd done pretty much this part of it by, by kind of hand, if you like, not by hand building, but um, would uh, I got a technique for turning um, images into schematics, and then layering them together within MC Edit, and I'll show you how I did it later on. But uh, I contacted uh, Adrian Brightmore, or at least put a tweet out. I think um, near Christmas time, actually, this has been a long gone, gone project, and he responded by offering me a fantastic. Um, a script uh, filter for MC Edit that actually turns a sequence of images in a folder into a three-dimensional object like this. So basically what I've got is I've got, this is made up of images, 
from a human uh, scan of a human. Let's, let's just go out of it and I'll show you what that looks like. <clears throat> so this is, here's the video of the body. Um, and it's just a quick sort of almost animated scan through the body so you can see all the way through right down to the feet and I'm just taking the torso for the time being uh, for hopefully obvious reasons and I turned each of those into little <clears throat> individual images and then we could take those images and we could turn them into pictures pictures that um, there we go I didn't do every single one because I wanted to leave a gap in between them each of those pictures then be then became a schematic and then I started layering up the schematics one by one um, and I got I got sort of this far um, one of the nice things is during the night the head glows because there's a certain amount of glowstone that's in the brain <laughs> and there's also uh, some TNT in there as well uh, one of the things, one of the future things I'd like to do is, is kind of collaborate with some medical students or anybody who's interested in the human body and kind of make interior landscapes as well. So it'd be nice to sort of do interior landscapes and also do maybe do an interior of different organs and stuff like that so we can actually walk about interior organs within Minecraft and then kind of explore them in uh, in a different way. So for me, it's um, it started off as, a, as basically as a big art project. And if we go down here, we can see some muscle groups as well being represented and they go all the way through this body uh, and again this is just the torso so we're just coming back that's the kind of coccyx there the end of the spine um, before we get to the waist and the legs and the genitalia <laughs> which are quite big as well um, so but that's it for the time being this is the one I'm going to release as a map um, so stay tuned I'll be releasing have a release video here as well with a little bit more explanation about how I did it and stuff like that so until then I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, do subscribe do like and share with your friends and stuff um, because it is a pretty amazing project thanks for listening take care now bye bye <laughs>